Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to trade with simulated funds on the Optimus Flow trading platform. So on Optimus Flow, trading with simulated funds actually works on a contract to contract basis. Um, as you'll see in just a moment here, we'll enable the symbols that we want to simulate a trade with, and then we can essentially access those symbols from any uh, feature within this platform. From there, we can just specifically trade those symbols and you'll see in a moment they're all with a simulated account you can set up how much simulated funds you want directly from there but again it's on a symbol or a contract to contract basis um, and it's not one overall account and you'll see what i mean in just a moment so to access your simulated account all you need to do is head up to the top left hand corner of the platform window click on the optimus flow logo this brings up your menu here scroll down You'll need to hover over the trading section and we'll select on the TRS icon. This is Trading Simulator. If you're not familiar with it, you can actually right click this star or excuse me, left click this star in the top right hand corner here. Doing so will populate a TRS button up at the top. That way you now have a shortcut for Trading Simulator. Now you can just head up to the toolbar at the top of the platform, click on this and it'll automatically open up your trading simulator. As you can see, I've already started with one contract here, uh, but you, if you want to, you can click on the delete button at any time or to, to get rid of it, or you can reconfigure it by simply clicking on these three vertical dots right there and then choosing a new contract. Once you have the contract enabled or selected, you pretty much just click on start and you'll begin simulated trading. Let's go through this process one more time with a different symbol. So we'll click on add. It'll bring this drop down box here. We can search through the different exchanges for the symbol we want to trade. Let's say, for example, I click on this CBOT and let's click on the Dow, the YM. If you want to, you could trade the front month, front month, which is probably the easiest. If you know the exact trading month you're currently in, you can select that one as well. So let's do the March 2020 contract here. I'll double click it. This will add it to my list right here. Now, before we do, and like I mentioned, you can delete this at any time. Now, before we do, let's go ahead and we can click on this cog wheel to the right of the ready to start simulation box. This will allow us to specify trade simulator advanced settings. Clicking on this cog wheel, as you can see, you can choose your initial starting balance. So if I want to, we can adjust this. I can make this $10,000 if I wanted to. If you want to put a delay on your execution, you can do that as well. Here we have a fixed um, 200 millisecond uh, delayed value. You can do it within a specific range time. I don't think that's necessary for this tutorial, so I'm going to just choose none. But if you find a benefit in doing so, you do have that option. As you can see, you can also click on each specific symbol here and adjust settings as needed. Here we have a netting height, netting type, so you can adjust um, between one position, multiple positions, or multiple positions per side. You can have a fee per side, and you can adjust marginal trading, whether it's on or not. So that way you can get a good feel for you know margins and commissions and things of that nature, and whether or not you need to be in a specific margin at a specific time. Either way, you have these options to choose from. Once you have everything configured, you can click on the start button. You also have the option if you want to, to minimize this. That way, if you use this on an ongoing basis, you don't even have to go in there. All you need to do is just click on start and you'll see simulation is now active. So you actually have a couple ways of accessing these simulated quote unquote symbols here. What you can do is you can head up to any widget or you know um, feature within this platform, such as a chart or a dome. And now you'll see when we search through this symbol finder, we actually have a section called Trading Simulator. These are these symbols that we just created for ourselves. So as you can see, we have our DAO contract. We can pull that up. And as you can see, now in the top left-hand corner of the platform, instead of saying rhythmic, it'll be under simulator. That way, you know, you're trading with simulated funds. Let's do this again, but through a different method. So we'll go back to our trading simulator here, click on this drop down, and you'll notice now that we've started trade simulator, we have the option to open this panel. This is the 
arrow to the right of our contract list. Click on this. And as you can see, you actually can open up one of these widgets or features directly from this little sub menu here. So if you want to, I can open up a chart for the ES, as you can see right here over my mouse, I'm in simulated mode. Let's take a look at the dome. And as you can see, we're using simulator. You can also confirm that you're in simulator by clicking on the account field. As you can see, the account will no longer say your rhythmic ID or your account number if you're trading live. All it will say is account in parentheses US dollars. Again, this, how, this is how you know you're trading with simulated funds. Now from here, you can pretty much go wild and start to place whatever trades you like or test your strategies or methods, whatever you want to do, you're now in simulated mode. So let's just place, you know, a quick buy market order with a quantity of one. Okay, we'll click yes. We get the notification that our order was filled. Now, if we look at our positions, as you can see here highlighted, we just placed this trade, um, the long market order at 32.26.50. And here we go. The connection name says trading simulator. So we know we're trading with simulated funds. Again, it's pretty much risk free. This is all built into the platform. Again, you can pretty much access multiple features right through the little trading simulator box here. And by clicking on this option, you have a ton of different things from TPO charts to your dome, your dome trader, you can just do straight up order entry if you want. There's a ton of different options here. So if you do have any questions on this, please post it in the comment section below. We also have our community forum where you're more than welcome to ask questions on and request any specific features, address any comments, questions, or concerns you have over there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Optimus Flow content. We have trading podcasts, um, tips, and much more on the way. And as always, thanks for watching.